This is a horror story about a mysterious box that a girl receives as a present from a mysterious woman under a bridge. So there was this girl by the name of Sarah, and she was so sick of her mom because her mom always insisted on picking her up from school, even though she was 15 years old. It was so embarrassing and so, one day, she told her mom not to pick her up, and she walked home on her own. Anyway, this girl named Sarah was making her way across town, and it started raining. She ran under a bridge to take shelter from the pouring rain when she heard a voice hissing at her. Hello? Hello? It said. The voice was hoarse and raspy. Sarah looked around, wondering where the voice was coming from. She thought maybe it was just a friend playing a trick on her. She ran around the side of the bridge and there, standing in front of her, was a little old woman holding a gift box. Hello, Sarah. I have a present for you said the old woman. Sarah had never seen this old woman before in her life. At first she thought it was creepy that the strange woman knew her name, but what happened next scared her even more. Sorry, I gotta go, said Sarah as she turned around and started walking away. Wait, shouted the old lady. Your father told me to give this to you. Sarah's eyes bugged out. She couldn't believe what she was hearing. What, she screamed. Is this some kind of sick joke? Sarah's dad had died in a car crash the day before. Sarah felt like punching the old hag. The woman tossed the gift box at Sarah and the young girl instinctively caught it. Before she could throw the box back, the woman ran off around the corner. Before Sarah knew it, the old hag was out of sight. Sarah was about to open the gift box, but she was late, so she decided to open it later and stuffed it in her handbag and walked off. When she got home, Sarah's mother had her dinner waiting for her. After eating, she went to her bedroom to do her homework. Just then, she remembered the gift box and decided to see what was in it. As she was taking it out of her handbag to open it, she started thinking about what the strange old lady had said. Your father told me to give this to you. Sarah's dad had been on his way home from work when he was killed in a car crash. The police said he was driving across a bridge when he swerved and lost control of the car. He crashed it into a truck, an 18-wheeler. They found him completely crushed in the wreckage. Her dad's car had been crushed so badly by the impact of the truck hitting him straight on that he died instantly. It had all happened the day before, and today Sarah was only just coming to terms with her father's untimely death. You might think that Sarah was a cold person for seeming to have gotten over it so quickly, but she had always been like that. She was good at getting over things. Just as Sarah was about to open the gift box, her mother walked past and spotted it. Where did that come from? Sarah told her mother all about the weird old lady she had encountered under the bridge. What? Why would you even speak to someone like that? said her mother. Suddenly the noise of the TV in the lounge room seemed louder than it had been. They could both hear the evening news from Sarah's room. Today, the woman who was tragically killed last month in a crash has been identified, said the news anchor. Sarah hadn't heard about a woman being involved. Mom, what woman? She wailed. Sarah's mom looked like she was about to cry. I thought it was best that you didn't know, she said. When your father crashed the car, he wasn't crushed inside. What really happened was that he swerved to avoid an old woman that was crossing the bridge. Your father was thrown through the windshield and flung into the old woman. He crushed her, and they both died a horrible, agonizing death under the bridge. Sarah couldn't believe what she was hearing. She felt like punching her mother. Why had nobody told her the truth? Their bodies were so crushed together that the police couldn't identify which was which, continued her mother. They couldn't separate the corpses, so when we went to the funeral yesterday, that wasn't just your father we buried. It was your father and the old lady, crushed together in the coffin. Sarah ran to the lounge and collapsed in front of the television. The news report showed a picture of the old woman who had been killed. Mom, that can't be the woman that died, she cried. Why not? asked her mother. She didn't understand. Because that is the old lady that gave me the gift box today under the bridge, 